Goody, goody. Can you guys see me? Peace. Bless your loves. Welcome back to my channel. So yeah, um, basically, I want to make a video about crochet like how I started my business so I actually was inspired by a good friend of mine I haven't talked to her in so long and I really miss her her name is Derica you guys probably remember her on social media as Empress Moon Love I'm gonna insert a picture of her hey Derica if you watching but yeah um she inspired me to crochet it was like she would make like dresses, she would make earrings, she would make all types of stuff. And I'm just like, yo, this is so beautiful. I never thought about crocheting, you guys, but it turned out to be like a hidden talent of mine. Um, she actually taught me like through the phone, you guys, like how to do a stitch and everything. And I just went and I researched for myself. But once um I started crocheting, it was like I couldn't put the crochet hook down. I remember going to the store the first time buying yarn for the first time and I picked up two crochet hooks because I thought it was knitting, but knitting and crochet is like two different things. A lot of people think that crochet and all that stuff is just for old women. No, it's not. It's a skill that anybody can learn. Even a man can learn it. And um, it's a survival skill that I think anybody should even try. You know what I'm saying? I'm actually thinking about starting a separate YouTube channel dedicated to my crochet journey and teaching you guys how to crochet. So look for that in the near future. But yeah, so um, so what happened was I made like some stuff. I posted it on Instagram and people was coming in my DMs like, yo, I want that bag. Can you make that bag for me? And I'm like, oh my God. So I started off doing like custom orders at first. And then after the custom orders, I ended up going on Etsy. I think I started my Etsy 2020. Yeah, I think I started my Etsy 2020. And I started off with like mainly like beanies because I was inspired. You know, when you have like dreadlocks, you like to push your hair up. So you wear like the Rasta beanies and things like that. So basically like the whole Rasta thing like inspired me to make the beanies. And that took off like the beanies was selling and i was just like wow i was even making sales on Etsy, and then i was making sales online on um, instagram so i was like this could be a thing so i took it seriously but not, i didn't take it seriously so when i started the crochet business on Etsy, you know i was doing like made to order and it was cool you guys but so i started the whole thing on Etsy, and um yeah i just did it and i'm proud of myself and right now I'm expanding and I have some stuff here with me that I want to show you. Yeah, this hat is so cute, y'all. Like, I just found this in this room and I'm like, I'm about to, yeah. So because crochet was taking so long and just because crochet is real like um, time consuming, I figure let me add some more stuff into my Etsy shop because I'm inspired by like aesthetics and I'm definitely inspired by like African type of work. So I have a business partner I am currently working with. He lives in Ghana and um, yeah, it's dope because he um, knows my vision and we have like the same eye for stuff. So, and he's also an artist, he makes clothes. He actually made this bag i love this bag so much isn't it so cute you guys like look at this bag that's cute right he hand sewed the fabric on it and it's really cute and um he also makes like the matching matching little um pouches this can be like a makeup purse or something like that it's so cute do you guys see it the details on it so I love, love, love his work so much. So I'm like, we need to work together. Like we decided we gonna work together. And um, he made this one too. Isn't that so cute? You can get these on my Etsy website. 
I'm gonna get more of these because they just they just too cute. But um, this is my other favorite one. It's a um Bob Marley. So on my Etsy shop, and these are made by him. His name is Quajo. And yeah, and I also have like beanies on my shop. This is like my main size. This is the one that I started off with. This is really I would say this is like a large size. I'll insert a picture of what it looks like on my head. But um, all of my beanies come with drawstrings. So you can tighten them on the inside. It has like drawstrings. So like, let me demonstrate. So you can like pull it to make it tight. It's like if your head is big, like if you have a big head, you can tighten it. So. This is like my main size beanie. These go for 30 online. And um, if you want me to cut, if you don't like the colors, if you want like a different color, you can message me and I can customize you a color, but it has to be like this design. So this is like my largest size beanie. This fits, you can wear this like slouchy. Um, I'll insert a picture of how it looks. You can wear this one slouchy. Or you can wear it for for me all of my hair goes into this like i still have room in this so this is a good one even if you have shorter locks or shorter hair you can still wear that one and um this is another style this is another style of that one this is um the african like the pan-african flag one same thing i have to draw a string and tighten it up all of my beanies have that in it most of them have the drawstring in it. It'll tell you if it doesn't in the description. And then I have like the longer ones. Like these. I love these ones. This is 100% cotton. And um, I can adjust the size for you guys and make it any size. So yeah, that's how I started. I started off making like custom beanies for people. And I was like, let me make this a thing. Like, let me let me let me make this a thing so you know my mom encouraged me and i was just like you know what let me go ahead and like do this and i started right in this room you guys i started crocheting right in this room i started painting in this room and i started crocheting in this room um so yeah the my latia collection my crochet business and all of that it started off with me being inspired by a friend and then it started with me like being inspired by, you know, just being Rasta and just realizing that people with locks need to cover their locks sometimes and why not have a beanie? So yeah. And this is another size one I made. This is one, this is like a like a tight fit. This is like a snug fit, like crochet stretches. So yeah. Like even though it might look small when it when you crochet cro oh my gosh, I can't talk today. Crochet stretches so this will be able you'll be able to like um wear it, you know what I'm saying? And all of my stuff is pretty much the acrylic yarn. This is acrylic yarn. This is um machine washable. Like when you wash it, it looks brand new. So yeah, but I'm definitely expanding my business. This is the smallest size that I have. This is an extra small. I don't know if you guys can see it this is like an extra small so if you guys like i said you can go on my etsy if you guys are looking for a beanie or anything like that and y'all can look at the other stuff too and um this um definitely is like for like smaller shorter locks but you can also wear it with long locks you can just wear it like on your head regular with long locks like it's whatever but this is my smallest size it's the x small I'm gonna make more colors with this and this is like where's the other one this one is like the medium i, I call this a small but i don't know my sizes are kind of weird this is like a small like like i know somebody that had their locks for eight years and they could put all their hair in here so it all depends on what size you want but those are my three sizes that i have right now on my etsy is this size, which I call it the small. I could custom any color that you want. If you don't want that color, just write me in my messages and I can custom you um, the same, a different color. It'll have the same shape as this one. 
And like I said, this is my largest size that I have. This is for like long locks, like mines, like probably like waist. This is probably like for like waist length locks or like if you don't, if you want to wear a slouchy, that's good for that. But yeah, so my crochet business basically started um, with me being inspired by my friend and then also you know being rasta like i was just like wow beanies are dope like how they be looking on a freeform dress and like when they be wearing their beanies i just think that style is just so fire like i think that style is so dope so yeah so i'm also you know like i said i'm working with my partner in ghana and um i wanted to show y'all some stuff this is like um Ghana beads necklaces so cute I think these look better when you wear them as layers yeah I think these look better as um when you wear them like layered yeah these are cute I think I'm getting me some when I go I'm taking a trip to Africa soon you guys you guys are gonna see me vlogging when I go. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna share my whole journey of going there. Like, I've been to the Dominican Republic, but why not go to Africa? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a melanated queen. Why not go to Africa? Like, we go all these other places in the world, Europe, and all these different places, but we won't go to the continent. So I think something's up with that. Like, we backwards for that. But yeah, these are really cute, and it's like matching bracelets these are on my site too the Ghana beads these are really cute and waist beads i have my mannequin to show you guys so these are the waist beads you guys and they are so pretty it's different kinds my favorite one is this one this one is so pretty I like the maybe i should put it in the lighting more can you see it better like look at this one this one is so pretty it's like rasta colors can you see it but um these are my favorite ones hi hi so yeah these are um the waist beads and they like tie they're like tie on so when you tie them on see they're made like with the string so when you tie them on and tie them, cut them, they they stay under. And also, I wanna make more like um, bathing suits, custom. I wanna learn like people's, um, people's like, um, here to learn, I wanna learn like people's um, measurements. So I'm still working on that. I actually made some stuff, like this is a size medium. This is like would be a B cup. So I know how to make A cup and B cup. Um, and I want to work on like bathing suits and underwear. So that's going to be something else I add to my shop too. So yeah, that's what it is. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else I want to tell you guys before I go. Yeah, I have one on right now. Can you guys see it? And I take showers with it and everything. And it doesn't change colors or anything. So these are very, very good quality. Like real authentic Ghana waist beads, you guys. I have on my Etsy shop. But I'm expanding my business. So I started off crocheting. And um, then I expanded. Now I'm adding, I'm collecting art. I call my, my story Latia Collection because it's a collection of everything that I love that's art. And it's all handmade stuff you guys like most of it is all everything that's going to be in my shop is handmade for the most part majority of the stuff is going to be handmade i plan on adding um black soap shea butter um some spiritual stuff like incense and um candles maybe like sometimes people work all day they work every day and they don't take the time to um sit with themselves and figure out what their talents is like i said crochet was a hidden talent i never knew i could crochet nobody in my family that i know of crochet so i was like where did this talent come from but um i'm so happy that i decided to do it and whatnot 
I'm trying to think, is there anything else I want to show you guys? I didn't want to make this video too long. Oh, so I'm also, I want to start making jerry. So I made these. You got lock. Um, this is lock jerry. I want to, I love crystals. So I've been making like those. These are also on my Etsy shop. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys a few of the things and let you guys know if you guys have a talent or you know you're an artist and you're thinking about like being a creative or whatever just do it just do it and see what happens like don't even if you get one sale don't give up keep going like when you're an entrepreneur you don't give up so i'm just giving you guys advice that if there's something that you want to do go ahead and do it So yeah, basically, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you in my next video. And I just want to say like, never give up on your dreams. If you have a dream, hold on to it. And when you plant a seed and you have an idea and you plant a seed, you have to wait for it to grow. You can't just plant the seed and expect for it to grow into a plant or a tree with, and bear fruit the same day. It takes time. So with business, is you have to water your business. You know, you have to grow your business. And um, eventually, one day I want a store. And I know it's not going to happen overnight. It's going to take time. But if you guys have a vision, go for it. Don't let nobody stop you from believing in your dreams. And never give up. I don't care how many times you fail. Keep going and never give up. And you're going to see the rewards of your hard work. Peace. I'll see you in my next video, which will be Sunday. And it'll be a hair video. Um, if I don't stay up on beat with this, I'll let you guys know. But most likely, I'm going to try to stay consistent and drop videos. I'm probably going to have to pre-record, though, because, yeah, it's kind of late. It's like 7 o'clock right now. I still have to, like, run a whole bunch of errands and whatnot. But peace. Later. Real, 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 real.